Today I am going to read an exciting story because it is Children's Day and its name is From Tadpole to Frog by Wendy Pfeffer. So let's get started with our story. From Tadpole to Frog This is Frog Pond, but where are the frogs? When winter winds whistle, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. Hideaway. Hideaway. After the ice melts, flowers appear, birds return, and pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night you hear, Bararoom, Bararoom, Bararoom. The males are calling to their mates. The females hear the call. The male hugs his mate. He fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft, jelly-covered eggs cling together in the cool water. In about ten days, the eggs hatch. The pond comes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills, just like fish. During the summer, the tadpole, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants. But water beetles, snakes, and birds are eating too. They're eating tasty tadpoles. When fall comes, Look carefully in the water. Are any tadpoles, tadpoles left? Look here. Are, are they tadpoles or wet leaves? They are brownish speckled tadpoles. Hundreds of them float by with the brownish speckled leaves. Eating and swimming, eating and swimming, eating and swimming, swimming and eating, eating and swimming, swimming and eating. The tadpoles grow fat. When winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat. They do not move. They just sleep. When spring sunshine warms the tadpoles, what? Warms the tadpole's world, they awake, hungry. So they swim and eat, eat and swim. Tiny hind legs, hind. tiny hind legs begin to begin to sprout. They grow longer and stronger, while the tail grows shorter. Tiny frog legs begin 
begin to show front legs. Tiny front legs begin to show. The tadpoles look like long-tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change more. Lungs develop and more. Mouths and eyes grow larger and more until they become frogs. When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles. Now they use their strong legs and wet feet to swim instead of their tails. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap on to land. The frogs flick out their long, sticky tongues and capture worms, worms, spiders, and dragonflies. Now, where are the frogs? Slowly, the days grow colder. Winter winds blow. Birds fly south. Once again, the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now? Okay, all I have is here. There are about 2,000 2, kinds of frogs. They are different in size, shape, habits, and color. But they are alike in many ways. All frogs grow from eggs to le less fish-like tadpoles to four-legged adults. The frog picture throw, throw throughout. Out, throughout this book is a bullfrog. It is the largest frog in the United States. The bullfrog tadpole takes up two years to up change to. up to two years to change into a frog. Other tadpoles take anywhere here are some of other kinds of frogs. What? Here are wait. Other tadpoles other tadpoles take anywhere from two weeks to two years to change into frogs. Here are some other kinds of frogs. This is a leopard or grass frog. This is a pickerel frog. This is a wood frog. This is a spring peeper. And this is a gray tree frog. Where are the bullfrogs? This map shows where bullfrogs live throughout the United States. Right here, 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 and right here. The end. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, click to subscribe and don't forget to click the little bell so you can watch more of my videos. Happy Children's Day and bye!